The flurry is a, such a big part of my life now. I mean, I've been involved with the flurry from when it was actually a wreck, when it's completely demolished. I've sort of become like the artist in resident here. And we did an exhibition here, and it was like a retrospective of all my work. And we had 10,000 people in a month, which is unbelievable. It's interesting to talk about God Save the Queen. And, you know, there's obviously all that artwork I did at that time, which has become quite notorious. And, and I just think there was a genuine working class distrust and a dislike of the royal family at that time. And it's just seemed incredible since, since then. And I think that taught them the art of media PR, that they had to really change their image. But I'm more and more of the come to the opinion that when you think of what you're born into in this country, and you know you think, you don't think anything of it, you see these golden coaches and these crowns. We are under complete suppression. It really exists as a very, very heavy, you know your place, you're a subject. You know, it's all, all bound, bound and parcel with the whole thing that's happening with immigration now, the refugees crisis. We're actually responsible for a northern amount of it with our imperialist history. The hierarchy in the art world they absolutely stink beyond belief to me. They really do. So you've got the people curators from the state. And they came up here and asked around London. Because this was the opening and then it's thousands of people here. It was shocker. How on earth did you get Jamie Lee? And she said, I just asked him. 